Hello, it's Alan. Here's another video for you. It's a special guest today. It's my nephew, Christopher. He used to serve with the Canadian National Army. And what was your division? I was with uh, 32 CER, which is a combat engineering regiment. And uh, not too long ago, I stumbled upon some goodies and uh, hopefully we'll share those today. Yes, some army food and we are going to... Well, he had it before, and this is going to be a first for me. Never had it. I'm the guinea pig. All right. Good to go? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So here it is. Since you know all that stuff. All right, so we're going to unpack. So we have our knife here. We always Amazing. have to unpack with official army knives. Amazing. We have our bowl. We're we'll going to be using that today. Two lovely spoons. We'll be taking advantage of those in a moment. A uh, bottle of water for you, bottle of water for me, some hot water, and a bucket in case one of us throws up. I, I hope that. So all this is just kind of leftovers from stuff I used to have. And this is like, honestly, about eight to ten years old. And we're going to kind of see how things are and uh, see if we survive. Marvelous. What do you think is going to happen? I know. I'm curious. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Wow. So we have some usual stuff like this. This is Lipton cup of soup. Sometimes when you get your army rations, you get a big uh, envelope. It kind of looks like an envelope. You get some bread, you get some jam, you get a main course. Sometimes you get like a dessert. Uh, you get a drink that goes with it. Sometimes some gum, some matches, things like that. And we have some of that here today. This is the bread that comes with it. Now, there is no expiry date on it, and it uh -oh. is about, like I said, 8 to 10 years old. So, one's for you. I'll take one for me. We'll put the extra one up here. This right here is instant mashed potatoes. Mother. <laughs> that's what our bowl is for, and that's what our hot water is for. So, it says uh, you can add salt and a packet of tea or coffee whitener. We're going to skip the salt, we're going to skip the coffee whitener, we're yeah. just going to add water. It gives you a handy little line here, it says fill up to the line. So we'll put that here in the middle, we'll test that out. Uh, in these little packets, these packets were actually for the drinks. Now what you did was, <clears throat> you emptied out one of these packets, which is as hard as a rock now. You'd fill it up to the line, you'd kind of squish it around and you'd drink out of the bag. Uh, so that's where this water comes in. We're going to pour it into the bag. We're going to mix things up and we're going to have a drink and we're going to see how it tastes. Okay. The cool thing about these is they come in a variety of different flavors. They're kind of like Kool-Aid. So you have raspberry, you have strawberry, orange pineapple, and uh, that's kind of all I have right now. This right here, if you can see that, that's chewing gum. Take a look at that guy. These were famous for lasting about four or five minutes. After four or five minutes, they would fall apart into little pieces and you'd have to wow. spit it out. It didn't really serve that well. This matches. Usual book of matches, nothing special. Just kind of strike and do your thing. There you go. These are funny looking things that kind of look like ketchup packets are actually ketchup, peanut butter, and some, some jam. So oh, yeah. Got, uh, yeah. You feel yeah. it, eh? Yeah. So we have a couple of different flavors here. We have strawberry, we've got raspberry, and I think that's it. So you get to pick. You want strawberry, raspberry? Uh, strawberry is good. Strawberry is actually an extra raspberry, so you can take that one. Uh -oh. I got a peanut butter. You got peanut butter? Yeah, yeah, I got peanut butter. And then we'll share the ketchup after. We'll see how that okay. goes. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got our drink. You got your drink packet. Okay. You want to start with drinks? Sure. Okay. Alrighty. So what so, are you looking for? You want strawberry? Mm, I'm feeling strawberry. Okay, because we got orange pineapple and we got raspberry as well. Okay. I am going to go for an orange pineapple. Mad hard. <laughs> Knife? There's no shake to it anymore. Nope. They're usually crystals. Alright, got it. Yeah. Did I get it or? Yeah, I did actually. Hold on. All right. No, I need the. So 
surprisingly nothing is stuck to the bottom of the bag. Alrighty. Shit, we good to go. Got it all over me. Well, look at look that. At it. it looks like it kind of changed color. It's not white anymore, eh? Oh. It's not white anymore. So, just pour the <coughs> contents in. You open up the baggie, yeah, you pour it in. We might only need one bottle of water for this. I got the opening. You can even see how the package starts to lose its adhesive there. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, put a hole. Yeah. Drop it in. Okay. There goes nothing. Woo, science experiment. Oh, we got a few more drops in. There we go. Okay. So now you see, there's two lines on this packet. One is for a chocolate beverage, because it's not actually hot chocolate. And the other one is for fruit beverage. Okay. And what we have here is a fruit beverage. So we're gonna fill it up to the second line. So, oh yeah, I see it. Oh, hold on. Here, I'll give you this bottle. Okay. There we go. So we got it right up to the line there. Was it uh nope. Okay. No. So now this is the tricky part. You got to be able to zip this thing and make sure it doesn't like explode on you. Because the last thing you want is to have a really good drink when you have nothing all day and then uh, to lose it. So all right. Look. Should be good to go. It's good to go. Now, if you can see, there's like a little powder on the bottom. Yeah. You got to kind of mix that up. Okay. And dissolve it. Oh, gotcha. So effectively, this becomes kind of like a Gatorade. Uh, oh yeah. So once it's dissolved, it looks like it is. I don't see no crystals at all. Then you can open it up and try and take a swig. Still smells like a drink, okay? Oh yeah. No, this one. Still smells good, wow. Yeah. Wait, wait. Wow, it's not bad. No? What's the taste? Taste the si It's pretty good, eh? Yes. Yeah. Like st wow, strawberry, I'm telling you. All right, not bad. Not bad. Exactly like Kool Aid. Yeah. Pretty much. Outstanding. All right. <clears throat> Got mine done. All right, let's put that over there for now. Okay. What do you want to do next? You want to do uh, peanut butter sandwich? We're sure. gonna do mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes. Let's do mashed potatoes. So keep this guy up to the side. So same kind of philosophy again. We're gonna open this guy up. This guy's not too crystallized. This comes with a handy little tear area. Oh yeah. It's got some little black stuff in there. Oh, I see it. Can't really see it from there. That's okay. Hopefully that's pepper. Uh, so we managed to preheat this water a little bit upstairs. And we will pour it up to the line and see what we can get. Okay, so we're at the line. So far it's not fizzing, which is a good thing. It looks like soup more than mashed soup. potatoes. Alright, so we'll mix this guy up, see what we can get. Ew. Ew. Alright, oh, 
there's kind of gelling in there. Right? Really? One sec. We'll throw it into the... Uh, that's kind of gross. That does not look like mashed potatoes. Now it's starting to look like a bit of mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, like runny side mashed potatoes. Now you know how a cat feels when it gets its food out of a bag. Okay, so there's a little bit in there, but that's okay. We'll mix this up a touch more. That actually looks like it's a bit of mashed potatoes. I think so. I'm surprised by that. Wow. And how how old is it? Eight, eight to ten years. Eight to ten a decade. Okay. Alright. Ready to try it? I think so. Looks like pepper to me, I don't I know. I hope so. Alright. It tastes like pepper. It is pepper. I yeah. taste a bit of salt. It's got a chemically taste to it, though, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Some white, I, yeah. Well, I think that's it for me. <laughs> I, don't, no. I don't think so. Yeah. Let's, let's toss it back in there. That's a no. Right. Okay, you ready for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Sure. So same kind of deal with this thing here. They say this is egg bread, but I don't know what the actual ingredients are. It's kind of dense and it's kind of flat. Who knows? So you find your little uh, tear marker there. Yep. And I think I got it already. It honestly looks like a loaf of bread that's just been sucked right into one little slice. Yep. It's like that thin, that wide. Wow. It looks like the ends of the bread. Like it's the end. <laughs> slapped together. It really is. Okay, so... Uh, Still smells like bread though, eh? It does. So... Um, so we got two options. <clears throat> we can cut it down half this way and then fold it. Or we can try and slice it down the middle. Uh... I prefer kind of like yeah. that and... I'm going to go big and I'm going to try and slice this way. Uh, that's a little too thick. So far, the mashed potatoes, we survived. That's a good thing. That. That's kind of the inside of the bread. It actually looks like bread. Very dense bread. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We gotta wash that flavor out of my mouth. Just disgusting. Want some more juice? No, I'm good. It's like uh, brown bread. It kind of does. Okay, so same thing kind of happens with our peanut butter. After sitting for like a decade, you gotta mash it back up and make sure it's not. Yeah. Because we do kind of feel some clumps in there. <laughs> He laughs. I'm the one going to be throwing up. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look-see. Okay. So we also far. got ketchup. We also got a soup. You want to try soup, too? Okay, after this. After that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, should we spread it? Let's spread it. I need a... Um, so you can slice it with a knife? Yeah. Open one for you. Oh, you think? You yeah. Slice it. No. I don't see. And this you don't actually need a knife. You just kind of squeeze it out like you. Oh, I got it. Donald's ketchup. Yeah. Actually, the same color texture of uh, peanut butter. Now I don't know. I'm just gonna look. Look at this. Take a chance. Eesh. Oozing out. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, no. 
The it looks like it's supposed to be smooth peanut butter, but it's kind of chunky. So far, it stayed in. It nothing came out. Okay. If I had more finesse, I could probably get this peanut butter to go where I wanted it to go. Are you doing the whole thing? Yeah. I'm an animal. Okay. Maybe if I can... I'm going to use the knife to spread it a bit. Yeah. Mine's not that great. I got a couple of... I think it's okay. Yummy. Uh, yeah. See that, folks? Tastes like peanut butter. Really? Yeah. Here goes that. some jam in there? No way. Uh, you got strawberry, you got raspberry. Um, I go for raspberry. Oh, can't. Uh, the raspberry, too. Yeah. Well, the knife's dirty. That's fine. Okay. It's an army Danish. <laughs> wow. It is liquidy. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. Okay. Now. Here goes nothing. Wow, they... Peanut butter? What is this? Oh, yeah, raspberry yeah. jam. Yeah. That's the raspberry. Wow. So far, so good. It's not uh, you? It's okay. I'm surprised it actually tastes so good after this long. Mm hmm. Now, personally, if it was a fresher peanut butter, slice of banana. Mm. Marvelous. Oh, yeah. So, that is okay. Time to move on? Yep. What's yeah. next? We've had enough of that. <clears throat> so, we got some cup of soup. Again, hard as a rock. Drink me. No spoon required. I don't think so. Wow, that's like rock hard in there. Yep. Directions. Put soup into your mug, add three quarter cups of water, and stir. We don't have a cup, so we're gonna put it in the bag. You take a look at that. That looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup color. Mm -hmm. It's deceiving. We'll just pop it in. Wow. It's all like chunkified. <laughs> chunkified. <laughs> there is, it is not oh, oh. even powder anymore. What about put it in here? I'm going to try and put it back in the bottle here so we can shake it. Well, nothing in here. You know what? I'll put it in the glass jar. And then, uh, how do we scoop it out? We'll drink it. Okay. In the army, we improvise. Improvise is the way to go. So far, we're surviving. Whoa. Looks like, uh, cream to me. Like, coffee colored. Yeah. It's still got little chunks in there, you can kind of see them. <coughs> Bartender. What about if I spill this water in there? And pour it in. Ah, that's fine. Kind of smells like soup. Oh yeah. 
Both want to drink from the jar? Yeah, sure. You got cooties? I think I have cooties. We're good to go. <laughs> so there's like a little white foam on top, though. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm down for it. All right. Can't really see that. That's okay. You want to go first or I'm going to go first? Go first. I close my eyes. Go first. <laughs> what? There you go. Okay. Let me trust. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> One second. Okay. This is a go. scientific experiment, which. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, in the name of science, he laughs. Does it taste like soup? <laughs> Here, make yourself another drink. Hey, go ahead. What's Watch this? It. That's uh, raspberry. No. Got up. Aftertaste to it? Ugh, I don't even want to smell it. It's got a... I, I can't... I don't know. It's like... Well... It's kind of weird. Yeah, weird. But that That's a good word. The weird. So you can taste the salt. It's almost like someone put chicken base in a packet and tried to yeah. sell it off as soup. <laughs> it's a little granular too. <laughs> you good? Okay. okay. That's that. <clears throat> I think we've exhausted. Oh, we didn't do the gum. Oh, the gum. Okay. And we got matches here too. I got a candle. You got everything, don't you? Everything. Wow. In the name of science. In the name of science. Rules. So you have to do a peanut butter encrusted knife. <laughs> yeah, dude. There's one gum for you, one chiclet. Okay. One chi it's not even a chiclet, it's like an imitation chiclet. It is. So a real chiclet wouldn't have like all these dents and depressions in it. You see? Wow. Here goes nothing. It's like the reject chiclet. Mm -hmm. There's flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I taste the sweetness in it. Yeah. What, what do you taste? Kind of like a little bit of a spearminty flavor to it. I think so. I was going to say something like that, yeah. It's not like chewy and soft like fresh gum would be, though. Keep in mind, it's like 10 years old. It's okay. I mean, this one, I'd give a thumbs up for it. Now, what we have to do is we have to chew it for like five or six minutes. I give it a two thumbs up for it so far. Because after about four or five minutes, it starts to fall apart for some reason. Mm -hmm. So the first time we got this gum, well, this is great. You save one for now, save one for later. And as you chew it, you're walking around, you realize it's not sticking together anymore. Little pieces start to break off, and it's kind of disgusting. You have to spit it out. So, see if that happens. Mm -hmm. Where the matches go? There they are. Right there. So far, both of us survived the old, almost decade food, early food. Yep. So far, so good. <clears throat> Standard book of matches from the Eddie Match Company in Pembroke, Ontario. However, it says product of the U.S. So I don't know who's telling it's the truth. It's good. Either way, it's good. Keep away from children. Okay, here we All go. Right. Oh, it worked. <laughs> All right. There you go. 
How long? We didn't see you. It's a bird trap. Okay. I can lay that. I'm well, surprised that worked. There you go. Beautiful. I let the peanut butter have it. Okay. Not bad. Marvelous. Outstanding. How's your gum doing? It's pretty good. Yours? It's doing all right. I'm a little surprised by it, actually. Well, I just, the flavor is fizzling out. Yeah, that's long gone. Eh? Yeah, the good flavor is gone. Did you still uh, chew it like it's still like gum or? It's almost like chewing a piece of plastic now. How about yours? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's the odd flavor to it now. Yeah. How long more? I don't know. I got two pieces now. Well, mine's a one. Two pieces and it has turned yellow. It's no longer white. Ooh, look at that. That could be from the juice though. Oh man, you can smell it. it smells like sewer. <laughs> it smells like a sewer. It's like you take a whip at a sewer and it gets... A sewer grate? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta throw it out. That's disgusting, eh? It is. Ugh. Okay. Final thoughts. Final thoughts? For a 10-year-old packet... We survived. We did survive, in fact. I thought one of us for sure would keel over and uh, have it, you know, in the here, but all is good. Yeah, that was very impressive, actually. Yes. I came into this, I was very nervous about it. I thought one of us was going to be sick for sure. I thought some of this stuff wouldn't be even close to being edible, but apparently it still is. I guess we'll find out in like an hour. Yeah. If our stomach's rumbling. Well, so far, mine's okay. I have a solution. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Drink it down. You're good to go. Done. Done. This guy loves coffee. Alrighty. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. My nephew actually was on my show once before doing the Remembrance Day tribute video interview. And thank you again. Not a problem. I enjoyed it. It's so awesome you had, had a good time. Me. Thank you, Marvelous. Thank you for having me. And I, I'll send you another one when I can. And you know what? I'm gonna ditch you. Have fun cleaning. The things I go through. Actually, oh, I can't do that, dude. My uh, my nah, nephew, no. Nah. He, he wouldn't leave me. It's, it's funny, like no. we're gonna clean up all this, and uh, again, I'll send you another video later on. Bye for now, from us too. See ya. Bye.